With good news for today from Baptist Press, I'm Brandon Porter. Christian believers in Nigeria are standing firm in their faith despite high levels of persecution. Nigeria was recently ranked seventh by Open Doors in their listing of the top 50 countries that persecute Christians. Watching Boko Haram behead her Christian father and leave her brother for dead in their Nigerian village has strengthened the faith of Manga, a Nigerian who practices Christianity in the deadliest nation for believers. Once you're a Christian in Nigeria, she says, your life is always at stake, especially in the northeastern part of the country, most dominant and most populated by the Muslims. The Christians are the minorities. Manga's father was among the earliest of Boko Haram's victims in northeastern Nigeria in 2012. After the attack, she said, the way I practice, the way I worship changed. It gives me the resilience to practice my faith, to worship all the more, she went on to say. We prayed more, we seek the face of God more, and the Holy Spirit is always there to encourage us. Nigeria was home to nearly 80% of the 5,898 Christians killed for their faith globally in 2021. Back with more in just a moment. Good news for today is made possible through our friends at The Voice of the Martyrs, a nonprofit organization that serves persecuted Christians around the world. Founded in 1967 by Richard and Sabina Wormbrand, VOM is dedicated to inspiring believers to deepen their commitment to Christ and to fulfill His Great Commission, no matter the cost. Find out more and sign up for their free monthly magazine at vom.org slash goodnews. When churches search for pastors, it's a trying time for the church and for those who were tasked with helping the church find their next shepherd. Jason Lowe, Association Mission Strategist in Pikeville, Kentucky, recently offered some red flags for churches as they search for their new pastor. Here's a few of his suggestions. First, are there gaps in the pastor's resume? Have there been months or even years in between ministry positions? Lowe says there may be a good explanation, but the team should ask. Another item to observe is if the resume is filled with a pattern of brief tenures. Lowe said he heard of a church that was talking with a pastoral candidate who claimed to have 30 years of experience. Come to find out the candidate had three years of pastoral experience at 10 different churches over 30 years. Churches need to make sure to learn why the pastors moved around so often, if that's the case. Lowe says other red flags are that the pastor is overly critical of previous churches or when he's overly concerned about the church's finances. You can read the entire article that includes wisdom on how to address these concerns and more at baptistpress.com. Find more stories at our website, baptistpress.com. Thanks for listening to Good News for Today. I'm Brandon Porter.